Well, hello and welcome back, Slimy Green Garage family. Today, you know, a little treat today for me. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be cleaning up this old bicycle. Now, I, there's a story behind the bicycle. There's usually a story behind just about every project we're working on, but, uh, you know, we have a scrap pile outside the house, and uh, years ago, uh, our neighbor that used to live across the street uh, from my mom and dad, his name's Jack, wife's name's Barbara, she's still with us, but uh, Jack's passed away. But uh, he'd come to me at one point and uh, he wanted me to throw this bicycle here on my scrap pile. I just want to get rid of it. And uh, it was in pieces, you know, the wheels were off and whatnot. But uh, I knew right away when I saw the bike, I said, we're not throwing that thing away. It's pretty cool looking. And so for years, this bike, I just hung it up uh, in my garage, you know, wrapped some chain around the back and the front, used it as kind of a decoration piece. And I never did clean the bike up because I just wanted to keep that, you know, vintage look to it. And so, uh, I've got it down at the building now and you know we're starting to do a little decorating and I thought you know what let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and put the shine back on her you know to the best of our ability so I actually broke out the steel wool this morning and uh, I've already kind of started working on the front fender and got it looking pretty decent uh, to work on that front wheel and and anyway uh, that's why I'm covering up this side so you can't see it because I've already done a little bit of work um, I hope you guys are all doing real well it's a uh, it's a Saturday afternoon and I'm just going to go ahead and get right to it, but uh, God bless you guys. Uh, remember to go out there and do awesome things. Honor God to the best of your ability and remember that, you know, the gifts, the talents, and the abilities that we all have, well, they're all, all because of Him. And so, I love you guys. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get to polishing on this thing. And uh, again, I hope you're doing real well today. So, let's get to it, shall we? So before we get started on cleaning this girl, I just want to kind of do a walk around on this bike, tell you what I do know about it, which isn't much, by the way, aside from who it came from. I know the brand is Hiawatha. You get in there, it's still written on that, that chain guard, uh, as well as on the frame here. Pretty neat design, actually. Uh, the bike uh, had, I assume, battery-operated headlights on it. You can see that front fender, she cleaned up pretty good. I uh, spent a little time on it with the steel wool, but if we go down to the rim, you can see I got some shine going on here, but then we get into some pretty heavy surface rust. Uh, but a lot of that uh, is coming off, and so, you know, I don't know how many hours I'm gonna have invested in this thing, and I'll probably go ahead and buy some new uh, tubes and tires for the bike, just to kind of bring her back around in a condition that would Make my old neighbor Jack smile. Cause I imagine, you know, for you guys, this video will probably be done in less than 10 minutes. Maybe a 10 minute video. We could probably stretch it out just a little bit, but the amount of hours that I'm gonna spend, I can tell you already, with steel wool, and I'm gonna wear this piece out, and I'm gonna have to go buy some more, because I don't know where the rest of it's at. Uh, I'm gonna have at least an hour in just this one wheel, I imagine. There's probably some better tools out there, but I remember back when I was a young, stupid teenager, and you know, Krager rims. Oh man, those were those were the thing to have on your hot rod back in the day. Well, you know, we didn't we didn't have money to buy new ones, but you could still come across, you know, a decent cheap pair, and you know, they'd have some pitting on them too, because well, that's just what they did. But you spend a little time with the mother's chrome polish and some steel wool on those rims and you can bring that shine back. But you had to earn it. Totally worth it. And this is gonna take a little while, but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. You know, the older I get, the more I realize things that are important in life, the things that aren't. And, you know, a guy, a guy could just go out and buy a bunch of new toys. And you know, nothing wrong with that, but sometimes just spending some time bringing something back, you know? There's some peace in that. Not gonna cost, cost us, but a, pretty much just our time today to Shine this real up. It's a good time to do some reflecting on life.
All right, kids. Well, we did a really, really quick scrub down on the chrome. Now we're gonna just gonna get a little bit of this uh, rubbing compound if it's not frozen in the bottle, it's sitting all winter. And we're just gonna go ahead and try and do a little bit of cleaning up here on some of some of this paint up here. We just want to bring out just a little bit of the shine. Don't want to take away from the patina of what the bike has. But you know, we're just, ugh. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna let her shine a little bit again. It's been a lot of years, I think. It's kind of special seeing the uh, bike come back to life a little bit. Kind of makes me wonder, did I imagine Jack probably bought this brand new a long time ago. I think people just used to used to take care of their things better. At least I think people generally just had a better appreciation for the blessings they had in their life. You know, before my generation and the generation, you know, the young generation now has we've grown up in a world where you know everything seems to be just handed to them anymore. And, No, I think it's just a much more difficult to have an appreciation for something that you never had to work for. We made made life too easy, I think, on the kids and myself included. But I gotta tell you, I was a I was pretty rotten for some years. More than I'd like to admit. Still growing up. But God's grace has been sufficient. And I am thankful for that. Because I needed it. I think we even get some WD 40 or something to spray on here. That probably really help shine it up to you. Well, that's looking pretty sharp. Well, there you have it, everybody. The end of our video on the old Hiawatha bicycle. Uh, Jack Bolkin, God bless you. Thank you for leaving a little piece of something you enjoyed here for me to enjoy while I'm still here. Look, everybody, I hope that you had a really good day. Anybody that's got any knowledge on the old Hiawatha bicycles and maybe what vintage this is, just go ahead, if you would, just go ahead and leave it right on down there in the comment section. I would like to know a little bit more about the bike and it's history, uh, regardless. I know there's some bikes worth a lot of money. This probably isn't one of those, and I don't, I don't care. Uh, this is history, and anything with wheels, 
You know, from this vintage, it's cool in my book, just like you all are cool in my book. God bless you. I love you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. And until then, be awesome, do awesome things. Give all glory and honor to God for the gifts, talents, and abilities that he gave you. And uh, yeah, be a light shining in the darkness.